Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television, and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of those reality shows that we're doing is The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, I'm so excited. So, this, this, this show, this episode of the show is actually really good. Um, it was probably, of the three reality shows that I watched, this one in Vanderpump Rules and, and, um... Amazing Race, you know, this one might have been my favorite one, but Banner Pump Rules was pretty damn good, too. Amazing Race, but it was the first episode, so, you know, you, you learn to expect that, you know, from the show. Um, anyways, so on the Housewives of Beverly Hills, all right, so they showed clips from the week before, they're like, previously on the Housewives of Beverly Hills, and they showed how... Dorit basically, you know, talks shit about Lisa Rinna at every opportunity, basically. And Teddy has noticed it. She's like, yeah, there's two there's two Dorits. There's cool girl Dorit, and then there's trash-talking Dorit. And I, I agree. I think that that's a little bit disingenuous. I think that it, it comes across as not being super sincere. Um... If she, it, I mean, like, because if you're telling Lisa Rinna in her face, I forgive you, let's move on. <sighs> Sorry, but then you go around behind her back after saying that and say, oh my God, the fact she wanted to make up with me was laughable. It's like, bitch, okay. If it was laughable, then you should have laughed in her face then. As opposed to saying to her face, oh yes, let's move on, let's move past it. And then laughing about it behind her back afterwards. That's. That is a little bit shady. That's a little shady. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, there was some dinner. They had some dinner. Where were they at? Someone. Oh, um, Kyle. Kyle Richards. You know, she had, um, she had some guests over for dinner because she went away on this trip to Croatia last week. That's why she wasn't on the show. And so they... She was telling them how wonderful her trip was and all that. And she had some guests over. They She had um, PK and Dorit. Uh, who else did they have? They had, oh, Camille and her boyfriend. Um, Kyle and Maurizio. Oh, Lisa and Ken. And Teddy and Edwin. So they all showed up and they were all talking and Dory, when she gets drunk, she's apparently a loud, obnoxious drunk because she was like, she was shouting shit out to Camille. Like, and I mean, she knows Camille, but I don't think she knows Camille that well to be calling her a cunt uh, at the dinner in front of everyone. Okay. Because even Camille, in her cutaway interview, Camille was like, you know what? You took things a little bit too far, Dorit. I was like, oh, I can't wait. Uh, I hope I hope that she shows a real enemy in Camille. Because we haven't seen Camille get into it since that season one with um, Kyle. And what is hilarious, and this is this is the editing, so I give the, the show a little bit of props. They sure did find that clip from season one of Kyle going... You're such a fucking liar, Camille. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. Camille had some good um, lines, too. When she called Faye Resnick the morally corrupt Faye Resnick. That, I'm sorry. That was fierce because that is how we all refer to her in any house I live in. Whether it's this one or the one in Glendale or, or when I lived in Phoenix. We refer to Faye Resnick as the morally corrupt Faye Resnick. <laughs> It's the best. It's the best. I'm serious. And if I was Faye Resnick, I'd be trying to make some money off of that. I'd be like, oh, okay, you think I'm morally corrupt? Well, then I need some money. Here's the buy a new Faye morally corrupt Resnick uh, t-shirt. Right? That's what I would do. Shit. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so they ended up going to the house and they were talking and everything and, you know... But there were sort of, I mean, besides Dorit getting shit-faced drunk, um, Lisa and Kyle were sort of going at it a little bit. And 
what's this is this is hilarious. This is the best part. So at this dinner, you know, Teddy, who FYI, she's gorgeous. Like I am going to say, she is super pretty. Uh, especially in that opening that opening scene where they all have their diamonds, you know, and she looks just fucking stunning. Like I was like, "Ooh, girl. She looks good." Hmm. Anyways, so um she has not she has not been paying attention the whole night. Like once Dorit started getting out of control towards Camille, she was just like, I'm I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Well, then what happened was they started talking about Lisa Vanderpump and how Lisa Vanderpump, you know, and how Dorit's not afraid of her and all that other shit and and um Taylor like, wait, what what? What's going on? What did I miss? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I tuned her out the minute she started getting all crazy. And then, then I was all lost on the conversation. Yeah, but it was funny, though. It was, it was, I, I've been there. I've been there so much when someone is like, does, just dying to get your attention. That is when I'm least likely to give it. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, Erica. Because, you know, I love me some Erica Jane. I love me some Erica Jane. Okay, now Erica went with Kyle. No, not Kyle. With Lisa. Lisa Rinna. Lisa Rinna and Erica went to Japan. Okay, first of all, Erica Jane in Japan is like... It's like this episode of this show was written just for me. It's incredible. She was great. She was giving you looks... She brought her whole glam squad with her as well. You know, it was it's really cool to see. It was really cool to see. And then, like, they went and had, like, an authentic Japanese um, dinner. And I want to say that it was at a Japanese ryokan, which is like a, like a bed and breakfast kind of. And they had this old lady come out with a shamisen. <coughs> oh, whoops. They had this old lady come out with this shamisen and she started playing it. And then this geisha comes out and does this little fan dance. I mean, it was incredible. And Erica was like, these bitches are fierce. <laughs> yes. Yes, honey, they are. It was, that was, that was impressive. And, and she was like, it was the best, you know. And even though, like, a lot of the stuff they weren't super down with eating, they still ate it, you know. And she's like, like, Erica was like, it's a little slimy, but it's good. <laughs> it was really cute. Um, yeah, and then when they get off the airport, there's all these fans there waiting for um, Bella and, no, that's Bella and Gigi. It's Amelia and Delilah Bell. Uh, cause they were, they, they were doing some fashion thing in, in Japan. So that's why they were there. And then there's all these groupies there, which is really crazy. But if you think about it, it's not that crazy because, and, and I'm not, and I'm not saying that I'm to the level of those girls at all, but I'm just saying that when I worked at Tokyo Disneyland, we would have fans like that at the train station for all the various, you know, face characters. But it was really interesting, uh, cause I'm still friends with, because I I don't I didn't really like the term fans. I preferred the term friends because they're all my friends and and I've I've kept in touch with most of them. So you know, I'm telling you, I, if you get a a Japanese fan, they are the best. They are the absolute best. They're the greatest. So, anyways, oh, speaking of my my Japanese husband. Well, actually, no, my Japanese husband is Taki, but. Uh, his name is Messiah. He is a uh, he was a dancer at Tokyo Disneyland when I worked there. But he's coming out to Las Vegas, so I get to see him. And no, nothing really is going to happen because he's not he's not gay. He's straight, so that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We will still hang out and have a really good time, um, because that's what we do. Snap, snap, and one more in Z formation. Boom. Ooh, I, look at my ring. How it's got the, 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 how it's shiny. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, sorry. I just, 
that effect really just grab my eyes okay well thank you so much for logging on today i do appreciate it please feel free to follow me on twitter instagram and snapchat at angel benton and you can hashtag rhobh or real housewife shit to talk about the real housewives of beverly hills or you can also hashtag days to talk days of our lives i'll be doing that tomorrow okay thank you so much everyone have a great night peace out wubba wubba wubba